everyone and welcome to my lower intensity workout. Now this is a full body workout. We've got eight different exercises. We're going to work for 40 seconds and have a 20 second rest. So lower intensity means there's no running and there is no jumps in any of today's exercises. So first of all, let's start by getting nice and warm. So we're going to take those arms across the body, pushing that chest through. So we're starting to create a little bit of heat through the chest. Really, really nice. Let's bring those arms out to the side. We're going to go for some little circles forward. So we're going to engage that core and squeeze the glutes. Start to take those arms nice and wide. So arms all the way out, biceps all the way up towards the ears. Good. One more here. And then let's reverse that circle. Nice. So exactly the same. Opening that chest. Good. And then let's bring that circle all the way in, arms out to the side. Good, shake it out. We're gonna to come to the end of our mat. We're gonna hinge at the hips, walk our hands to the ground, and then walk all the way out into high plank. Good, bend the knees, walk the hands all the way back in, and stand, good. So just taking this in your own time as you start to feel comfortable in this position. Good, we'll go one more here, hinging at the hips. When you're in high plank, we're going to take the right foot to the outside of right wrist. If you need to help it, please do. Right hand comes up towards the sky. Look towards that right hand. Place the right hand on the ground. Step that right foot back. Left hand to the outside of left wrist. Left hand towards the sky. Good. Look towards that hand. Hand comes back down to the ground. Step that foot back and walk those hands all the way back in. Good. We're going to take it for some squats now. So we're going to drive those knees out and keep that chest nice and upright. Good. Really nice. We'll go three more here. So one, two, and three. We're going to come to the middle of our mat. We're going to go for some step backs, taking those arms overhead. So we're starting to get a little bit warmer now. Good. Driving that foot back and having a soft front knee, okay? So this is different from a lunge, we're just stepping that foot back and forward, good. One more either side, and then coming again back to the middle, we're gonna bring our arms overhead, knee towards our chest, so waking up that core. So strong pulls through the arms, good. Really nice team, we'll go one more either side and we'll go back to those step backs into the middle, Step it back, drawing those arms overhead. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit warmer. Good. Really nice. One more either side. And we'll go back to those pull downs. Arms overhead, knee to chest. Really nice. Good. Let's go four more. One, two, three, four. Shake it out, team. So like I said, I'm now going to take you through eight different exercises. We're going to do two rounds. We're going to work for 40 seconds, have a 20 second rest. Once we've completed that first round, I'll give you a minute rest before we repeat. Okay, so make sure you've got your eyes on me and you're watching for my cues. Let's do this team. Okay, so if you want to start by just getting yourself nice and ready, we're going to come into the middle of our mat and we're going to go for some squats. However, this time we're going to squat down and then we're going to reach all the way onto our toes. Let's go team. So drive those knees out, squeeze the glutes at the top. So you want to get a little bit of balance. That's it. So once you've started to master this move, you can take it a little bit faster. That's it, good. Nice team. Keep that going for me. You've got another 10 seconds and then you've got that 20 second rest. If it's feeling too much coming onto the toes, just keep it at that squat. Good, you've got three, two, and one. Well done, shake those legs out. We're now going for a step jack. So you're taking one hand and one leg out to the side, like a jumping jack, but one side at a time and no jumps. So you've got 10 seconds, but just to show you Side to side, go at a pace that works for you. We're going to go in three, in two, in one. So send that arm out. Good. So you really want to extend that leg away. You're going to bring that arm all the way overhead. Good team. So getting into a nice rhythm with this one doesn't take as much coordination as those jumping jacks. Good. Extend that arm all the way overhead. 
See, low intensity doesn't necessarily mean that our heart rate isn't going to come up. Hopefully, you're feeling warmer here. Nice team. Keep that with me. Looking strong. 10 seconds. Good. All the way. We've got five. We've got three, two, and one. Well done. Shake those arms out. We're then going to take it into a side lunge. So standing in the middle of the mat, your right leg is going to come out to the side. Both toes face forward. You're going to come all the way up, arms overhead, and you're going to add a little twist. You're then going to step that foot down, come out to the side, up, and twist. Well done. So it's going to challenge that core. So let's go team. So stepping to the right, up, twist, down, up, step to the middle and twist. Good. So we're going to spend 20 seconds on one side and then we're going to spend 20 seconds on the other side. So last one on this side, twist, and then you're going to switch sides. Good. So really challenge your coordination a little bit now. So waking up that mind and body. If you need to take that foot to the middle before you reach up and twist, that's fine, good. You've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Well done, shake it out team. We're gonna come down to our mat and we're gonna go for some glute bridges. So you want to make sure you can tickle those heels. You're gonna drive the uh, bum off the ground, squeeze your glutes at the top. You're gonna to step one leg up, step the other leg back, and then lower yourself down. We'll go in three, two, and one. So drive up, squeeze the glutes, extend, extend, and then lower down. Good, driving up, extend, extend, and lower down, good. That's it, nice team. So a really good one for if you're working at home, a lot of us suffer from underactive glutes. This one really forces you to fire them up, okay? Good. You don't want to make sure that those hips stay in line so you're not twisting through the hips. You can place your hands on the hips just to check that that's not the case. Good. Five seconds. One more on either side. And rest there. Well done. So your next move requires you to stay on the mat. Your head's going to start on the ground. You're going to reach your hands up towards your knees and slowly down. So it's a nice crunch here. We're going to go in five seconds. In three, in two, in one. So reach the hands towards the knees, slowly lower. Reach and lower. So you're peeling your head and shoulders off the ground as you slide your hands up towards your knees. Now don't worry about how far you go with this move. Good. Nice team. You've got 20 seconds here. I want you to think about going nice and slow on the way down as, way, as well as the way up. And make sure you're keeping a space between that chin and the chest. Really nice. Good. We've got five seconds. We've got three. We've got two. And we've got well, well done. We're going to come on to our fronts. So another core exercise here. A couple of options. We're going to go for shoulder taps, okay? So you're going to come up into high plank. If you need to, take those steps a little bit wider. Tap opposite hand to shoulder. And then you're going to come down into a commando. So you're coming into high to low plank. So let's go in three, two, and one. So shoulder tap, shoulder tap, commando. If commando is too much, then just stay at shoulder tap. And if it's too much being in plank, you just come to the squidgy part of your knees and you can still do both moves. So nice flat back. You want to just make sure you change that leading arm in the commando. Good. Really nice. You've got 15 seconds here, team. That's it. Keep it going. We've got 10 seconds. That's it. We've got five. We've got three. We've got two. And we've got one. Well done. Coming up to standing, you're going to be in the middle of your mat. You're going to step back and drive your knee towards your chest. We're going to do 20 seconds on one side and 20 seconds on the other. Good one for getting that heart rate up. We're going to go in five seconds, in three, in two, in one. So knee towards the chest. This is a really good full body exercise. So arms are working. The knee coming towards our chest means that we're working that core. And we've also got those legs involved. Good. Ten more seconds on this side. Nice. We've got three, two, one. Switch sides. So exact 
exactly the same on this other side. Good, so just gently bring that foot down to the ground. Don't wanna to put too much pressure on our knee. And that front knee has a soft bend in it, okay? So we're protecting that knee. Five seconds, three, two, one. Well done. So last one, we've got walking burpees, okay? So your hands are gonna come down towards the ground. You're gonna follow them down. You're gonna step one leg out, step the other leg out. We're in high plank. We're then gonna bring our feet to the outside of our hands in that nice bottom squat position and stand up. Three, two, and one. So hands to the ground, step back, both feet, and step in, both feet, stand up. Good. So you get into a nice rhythm with this one, just making sure we're going all the way down towards the ground. And again, you might want to think about changing that leading leg when you step back and step in. Good. So this is our last exercise, eight of eight. We're then gonna have a minute rest before we repeat one more time. Good, you've got five seconds. You've got three, you've got two, and you've got one. Well done, not quite enough time to get another one there. So grab yourselves a drink. That was our first round. You now have one minute rest before we repeat, okay team? So doing really, really well. Remember, eyes on me. You don't have to remember all eight exercises. I will continue to go through them with you as we go through this workout. So you've still got 30 seconds, so enjoy that rest. But when you're ready, and when the timer says so, we're gonna go into those squat to toes, okay? So just to remind you, you're gonna squat down and then come up onto those toes. Squat down, up to the toes. If you want to, you can add the arms now. So you go for a little curl with the arms at the bottom of the squat, push those arms back. We're going in 10 seconds. One more time on each exercise. Going in five, in three, in two, in one. Squat down, drive away, good. Down and drive, well done. That's it, keep it with me team. Doing really well. Good. Nice team. That's it, keep smiling. You're looking strong. Remember, if it's too much going onto those toes, you can just stay in a squat. You just wanna make sure you're driving those knees out and that chest is staying nice and upright, good. We've got five seconds. We've got three, we've got two, and we have one. Well done, so step jacks are next. So remember, taking your right arm and right leg out to the side, left arm, left leg out to the side. No jumps required. You're going in 10 seconds. Just a tiny bit of coordination, not as much as a normal jumping jack. We're going in three, in two, in one. So step out, good. That's it, so that arm goes all the way overhead. Really nice team. Keep it going. Good. That's it. We have 15 seconds. Good team. So making sure that we're stepping that foot all the way out to the side. You've got five seconds. Good. We've got three, two, and one. Well done. Shake it off. So we've got that lovely little side lunge combination now. So remember you go out to the side, come back in, and then we add the twist, okay? So out to the side, come back in, add the twist, and not fall. <laughs> Let's go in five seconds, good. In three, in two, in one. So out to the side, middle, and twist, good. Out to the side, middle, twist, well done. So just acquiring a little bit of control here. Nice team. You've got a couple more on this side. Good, we'll do one more and then we'll switch sides. So getting that core engaged, good. Onto the other side, really nice. And twist. Making that mind muscle connection, good. That's it, nice team. We've got three, we've got two, 
and we've got one. Well done, let's come down to the floor for those glute bridges. So remember, you want to make sure we can tickle those heels before we go up into that glute bridge. Our head is on the ground, we drive up through the heels, squeeze the glutes, we've got our knees in line with the hips, extend one leg, good, extend the other leg, come back down. We'll go in three, two, and one. Drive it up, reach, and reach, good, slowly down, well done. Up, reach, reach, and down, good. That's it, keep it going team. Doing really well here. That's it, nice. Good. That's it, you've got just 10 seconds remaining, really squeezing those glutes at the top. So if you think you're squeezing them, squeeze them harder, okay? Good, you've got three, you've got two, and you've got one, well done. So this rest, you get to stay lying on the ground. So remember we're going for the crunches, you're reaching your hands towards your toes, slowly coming down. So slide those hands all the way up, slowly release. You're gonna go in five seconds, good. In three, in two, in one. So slide it up, slowly down. Good, up and down. Nice team, good. Keep this going, looking really, really strong now. So with this workout, you're gonna work a little bit of everything. That's it. Really, really nice. 15 seconds. Good, we've got 10 here. Nice, we've got five seconds, good. How many more can you get? We've got three. Let's get one more, two, and one. Well done, coming over to those shoulder taps and commandos. So remember, a couple of options, either on the squidgy part of your knees, making sure shoulders are over wrists. You go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and then down to commando, all the way back up, or you take it into high plank. We're going in three, two, and one. You want to minimize that hip movement. If you feel yourself moving, take those legs wider or come onto the knees. Good, changing that leading arm, really, Really nice team. So making sure that when you come out of that commando, that you bring that hand underneath the shoulder. That's it, you've got 20 seconds here team. Good, really, really nice. That's it. Not long now team, you've got this. Good. That's it, we've got five seconds, good, keep it strong. We've got three, we've got two. And we've got one, well done, come up to standing. Just two exercises remaining. First one, we've got that knee drive, arms overhead, bring the knee towards the chest. 20 seconds on one side and 20 seconds on the other side. We're gonna go in five seconds, team. In three, in two, in one, good. So arms overhead, knees towards the chest. Good, 10 seconds. Just one exercise to go after this. We're gonna switch legs in five, in three, in two, in one. Good, straight into the other side now. That's it. Good. That's it. We've got five seconds, good. We've got three, we've got two. And we've got one, well done. So last one, it's just those walking burpees. So remember, those hands come down to the floor. You step one leg back, you step the other leg back. You come back in towards your hands and you stand up. We're going in 10 seconds, team. Last 40 seconds here. In five, in three, in two, in one. Hands come to the ground, step your feet back, step them in. Stand it up, looking strong. Good. That's it, squeezing those glutes at the top. This is our last push. These can get the heart rate up just as much as burpees. You've got just 15 seconds remaining, team. Let's keep it going. Good, we've got 10 seconds. Nice. Keeping it strong. Good, five. Three, 
two, and one. Well done, everybody. So that was my lower intensity training workout. Well done. Let's just take a moment, grab yourself a drink if you'd like it. And then let's just breathe. Well done. Give yourself a big smile. Let's interlace those fingers, press those palms away. Big reach overhead. Really nice. Let's just go for a nice side bend, just from side to side. Always feels like such a nice release after a workout. Good. One more either way. So one and two. Well done. We'll take those hands behind our back. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and down towards one another. Really, really nice. Let's just take a moment here. Fill the lungs. Well done. Really nice. We're going to step that right leg in front of us. So right toes towards the sky. You're going to bend through that left leg. Keep your nice flat back. You're going to peel those left toes towards you. Sorry, right toes towards you. Really nice. Feel that nice stretch down the back of the right leg. Good. We'll come up to standing and we're just going to switch sides. So my left toes are towards me. Bend through that right leg and then I'm going to lean slightly into that stretch. You should feel it intensify slightly. Left toes towards me. Really, really nice. Good work. Let's shake those legs out there. We're just going to come all the way down into our little squat here, yogi squat, palms together. Take a moment, let's breathe. Really nice work here, team, well done. Let's place our fingers underneath our toes. We're gonna to reach that bum all the way towards the sky for that lovely stretch down the back of your legs. You're gonna unloop your fingers, just sweep the ground from side to side. Let everything hang heavy. Maybe hug opposite arm here. Good. Before you let your hands fall to the ground, chin to chest, and you're going to slowly roll yourself all the way back up to standing. Just slowly readjust as you get back to the top. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.